is moving day again. I got pineapple, because why not? I'm in Hawaii. Made myself my first home cooked meal. Yep. I don't really know how this one's gonna work out. Look at this freaking view. moving day again. As I told you, the nomadic lifestyle part one was gonna be a little bit different than part two. I guess this is episode three, so episode one versus episode two versus episode three. This past week was family vacation at a resort. We're now packing up to go to an Airbnb, and because I left it to the last freaking possible second, I wasn't able to get the rest of the time. So we're gonna be actually going to two different Airbnbs. So essentially, these whole nomadic vlogs, I guess you can say, are basically just gonna be tours of Airbnbs for right now. But with that said, maybe doing like two vlogs a week, so every Sunday is kind of like, hey, here's my new spot. And it'll be different once I get to like South Carolina and I know that I'm there for a month. But maybe during the week I could do a vlog of like, hey, this is what I'm doing during the week. I don't know, like some fun stuff with my GoPro. I don't know, let me know in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're the first one to see my videos on the tube of the U with me. And on a lighter note while we're here, I wanna take the time because I feel it would be insensitive to not mention anything about this. Obviously, I am living in Hawaii right now and the natural disaster, the fires that are happening in Maui and the families that have been impacted, I just wanna express my deepest condolences, my thoughts are with you and uh, I guess I just feel from a, from a, perspective of somebody that really connects with the locals and understanding how they treat these islands and these people are the people that genuinely make people make make it give people like myself the opportunity to enjoy the beauty that these islands give so again i just want to express my deepest condolences want everyone to know that my thoughts are with those people with those families with the communities and uh I've been doing a little research, so I'm gonna leave a couple links in the description to where you can donate if you feel like giving back to help these people. You know, uh, I feel like th I have a platform and there's a, there's a piece to my platform that I should use it for these reasons, right? And to, to help people and to give back in any way that I possibly can. So again, my thoughts are with Maui. And uh, again, I'm very appreciative of the people of the Hawaiian Islands. And with that said, we are going to get on to our next journey. I'm going to roll on out this door out of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. We're going to go check out the new Airbnb. I've got a couple hours to kill before I can check in. So I'll pick back up. I was going to walk over there, but it's like a 30 minute walk and it's a $10 Uber. So I'll just see you over there in a few hours. Welcome to my crib. Right off to our left, we have a nice aesthetic bathroom. It's gonna be pretty gnarly for some content. I like the white and gold accents. Here we go with more white and gold. Nice little kind of marble looking texture. I feel like I'm gonna have a problem with how short that shower head is. Yep, I don't really know how this one's gonna work out. I guess I'm just going to get an isometric squat in here all day. Oh, it just got me wet. So I intentionally got a kitchen because I'm tired of eating out on family vacation. The goal with these Airbnbs is to always be able to cook my own food. So obviously this is not my own food, but I'm just going to show you the tour. But the first thing that we're going to walk through in here, again with the white and gold accents, we got 
the sink. We got a nice Keurig pod thing. Lots of goodies in here to help me out. Wine glasses for all the wine I'm not gonna drink. All right, you know, you guys don't care about this stuff. This is the cool stuff. We got a nice little kitchenette. I'll be able to, it looks brand new. I really don't even know if anyone's ever used this thing, but we got a little oven that's kind of wild. It's like, it's so small. And then I don't know how this thing opens. Oh, this is, but freaking, why is this stuff so luxury? And of course we've got the fridge, a nice huge fridge right in front of my bed because who doesn't want to wake up every single morning and see the fridge? All jokes aside, it's actually awesome that I have a fridge. I am getting these Airbnbs because I want to live my life as if I'm not really traveling, right? I want to keep it minimalistic. I want to keep cooking my foods and eating the right things to keep my body and my goals aligned. So that said, it's very small, pretty inexpensive for Hawaii. I've got a couch, i got a desk, i got everything I need to work. It's nice and aesthetic. These are all things that I'm factoring into play and I know I probably shouldn't, but yeah, this is really it. This is where I'm gonna be spending the next week. And this one I wasn't able to book for the full time. So I'll be going to another one in the same building, I think in like four or five days, but we'll get to there when we get there. Let's go check out the view. Holy mackerel. 42 floors up. This is redonkulous. Look at this freaking view. Panoramic views. We got the mountains there. We got the river below. Runs all the way up into Waikiki. Diamond Head Mountain across to the ocean. In freaking incredible. Down there is the strip, all the stores, all of the markets, yada yada. Pretty freaking wild. Whew. So now that you've seen the view, which is obviously incredible. I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of waking up to that every morning, even though it'll be dark because I wake up at the butt crack of dawn. I am gonna get situated in here, get unpacked, get settled in. It's 3.30 right now on a Sunday afternoon. I need to do some laundry. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to tour the rest of this place and show you guys the fitness center, the sauna. Yeah, I get a sauna, I'm super pumped. And then I'm gonna show you what, I, what I'm getting for my groceries to stay on track. And that's kind of what we'll wrap this, this week's video up. And again, as I said, we'll go into maybe another vlog next week of kind of day in the life, maybe some adventurous stuff with the GoPro, whatever you guys think. But that said, I'm gonna get unpacked and I'll see you in a second. to you. I got unpacked and I realized I have to go register at the front desk for the gym and I also need to do laundry. So I'm going to go take care of all of those things, then go to the grocery store, then come back. I'll show you what I got from the grocery store, but first I'm going to change clothes because I'm still in a wet bathing suit and we all know that does not feel very good. So when I get back, I'll show you the groceries and I'll give you the tour of the rest of this place. I feel like I'm saying the same thing 1847 times in a row. I'll see you soon. And we are back. Yeah, nice little grocery run gym sesh. It's a lot of freaking groceries. Let's uh, let's dive into what we got here. I'm just gonna go bag to bag. So we got a huge thing, brown rice, buy in bulk because you save money. We got some chicken sausage, gluten free, good for breakfasts. We got four pork chops, super cheap, good protein, lots of freaking chicken in here. I've got so much, this is basically all meat. So we got four chicken breasts, grass fed butter, that's what I usually cook with, two ribeyes. Oh gosh, there's so much in here. 
Then we've got, and keep in mind, I'm in the same building, so I can take half of this stuff up to the next room. I don't know that I can go much further up from the 42nd floor, but I can take all this to the second Airbnb that I'm gonna be in. We got three salmon fillets here. We got another chicken breast. And then here is my favorite. They didn't have ground beef, oddly enough, but they got ground turkey. Ground turkey is my favorite because it's 93% lean. Well, you gotta get the lean percent. Lean per percent. What? But my best recommendation, I always say, ground meat is the easiest way to stay on track. If you're going to do this, stay away from anything 90% or lower, or rather get 90% or higher. 90%, 93%, 96%. I don't really love the 99%. I got 93%. I eat a pound a day because I'm a large human being and I love, I love ground meat. I was gonna say I love meat, but that's weird. I'm gonna put all this away and go to the next bag. Moving on to bag number two. This looks like all the good stuff, the heavy stuff. Apple cider vinegar, probably not an essential, but again, one of my favorite things in the world, especially when you're traveling, it can basically be the best thing in the world that you could ever think of to help control your glucose spikes. And when you're traveling, chances are you're probably gonna eat out, unless you're me, because I'm getting an Airbnb and I'm rhyming like a dime, I'm gonna shut up. Anyways, it's really good. I take a, two tablespoons at night with a shot of honey. I don't have any honey because I don't wanna spend the money on it, but two tablespoons at night, as well as if you're gonna go out and you know you're gonna have a bad meal of some sort, you can apply this to any part of your life, by the way. Take a tablespoon before you go out. It'll help control your blood, blood glucose level. Moving on, we've got all our veggies, two heads of asparagus, we've got two heads of broccoli, um, but there's probably more in there. Got some gluten-free teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna make a huge stir fry with the uh, chicken and the rice, the 700 pounds of everything that I have. Greek yogurt, best hack on earth to put with my protein powder. Use code Nick30 for 30% off because it's the best and it's sugar-free and that's the end of my sales pitch. Now we got some kimchi, really good for the gut. I like to have that with my breakfast every day, as you know. And I got some pog, because why not? I'm in Hawaii and I'm gonna enjoy that. So that's my one little gift to myself. I'm gonna put this away and I'll see you in the next bag. Alrighty, next bag. Don't go back and quote anything that I've ever said, because I'm really angry about this, but they didn't have any pasture raised eggs. And if you know anything, that I say that I would like to teach you about anything in your life with eggs, get pasture raised organic eggs. They didn't have any, so I'm going against everything that I know because I just needed some eggs. 18 large white eggs, it's up to me. I'd throw those off the 42nd floor balcony, but anyways, I got some eggs for protein. I don't love how these are raised. I don't love how they're chemically, I'm gonna shut up. And I'm, I, I'm talking too much. I got fruit, I really don't like those eggs. I'm very passionate about eggs. I got some strawberries for my good old handy dandy, what was it, Chobani, my Greek yogurt. I got pineapple, because why not, I'm in Hawaii. Good, by the way, if you're gonna have dessert, have nature's dessert, have the good sugars, have fruits. Oh, and speaking of fruits, I got more fruit, bananas and some avocados, because healthy fats, are the way to go. And I bought myself a two little, a two dollar little bag here because uh, I'm gonna need it on my nomadic travels as I go to grocery stores within walking distance for the foreseeable future. Here are the goodies in the fridge. As if you care, don't look at the eggs. We're not gonna talk about the eggs again, but all the good stuff, high protein, probably pretty low carbs besides the rice. Get the carbs from my veggie. Good stuff, more good stuff over there. Let's go finish this tour. Here we are on the sixth floor where everything, all the magic takes place. We've got laundry, we've got the pool, we've got a little work area, beautiful views of the river. And I'll show you that in a second. But then also the fitness center and the sauna where I'm gonna be spending the majority of my time the next however many days. So here's a little hangout area. Might get some workout Wednesdays going on over there. It's super windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. 
but uh, here we are. This is views of the river, little mountains, and buildings. So there's more. And another panoramic view for you all the way across the river. Wow, this lighting sucks. Now let's go to my favorite spot. Well, neither door works and I think they're closed for sanitizing until 6 p.m. So we'll come back down here in about 18 minutes. In the meantime, while I waited for my laundry and the fitness hours to close, made myself my first home-cooked meal since I've been in Hawaii. We got asparagus, avocados, big old thing of chicken, and some good fibers in both the asparagus and the broccoli. But uh, the truth is, I actually am fasted from what time yesterday? 9 p.m. yesterday, and it's currently 6.54 p.m. So gonna have a good meal, probably wrap it up with some Greek yogurt and protein and maybe a little bit of fruit. And that'll be my meals for tonight, but that's not the reason for this video. I also made a huge pot of chicken and a huge pot of rice to last me effectively as long as I possibly can. So anyway, just a little side note, side clip here in my little kitchen before I go show you the rest of the fitness center. I'm two of the view out here, but look at that sky. All right, let's try this again. As you can see, there's plenty in there. We don't have any dumbbells, but I'm gonna bring my bands, I'm gonna bring my ab wheel, and I'm gonna bring my jump rope for workouts during my stay here. But again, plenty in there to get stuff done, and a huge open area here to be able to do body weight stuff. But there was people in there I didn't wanna be talking and freaking them out with the camera. So uh, that's what we got to work with for the next week and a half, 10 days or so. I'm gonna go show you the sauna. Actually, I don't even, I'm just gonna show you it. There's nothing really to show you. I know there's people in there and that might get a little weird. Sauna, sauna, sauna. We got the cold shower in there as well. You go into the other door and we have the best amenity possible. I also forgot to mention there's a pool and a jacuzzi tub, which is pretty sweet. The outdoor area, pool, I like. It's on the sixth floor, so that's a pretty cool view and the hot tub, but uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Crazy views, look at those freaking mountains. It's a whole different perspective out here during the sunset. That is all I have for you for episode three on updating you on my travels here in Hawaii on this nomadic lifestyle here in Oahu, Waikiki, Hawaii again. I want to express one more time my deepest condolences and my thoughts are with the families and the communities affected in Maui. Again, if you want to support, you can go to the link below. There's a couple links down there. Show your support. You don't have to, but anything is appreciated. With that said, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next week for episode four of this nomadic journey. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have an awesome freaking day, and don't forget to smile.